Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reading through uh, On Your Book. I'm going to be going through 50 pages on your book, and you'll need to be taking uh, 50 notes, one per page. Just kidding, that's April Fool's today, if you didn't know. Today is April 1st. Happy April 1st. Um, so I am going to read, though, a little bit, just a couple pages. It's going to be in section number four, uh, genes, DNA, and proteins. Uh, section four, a few other reminders also. Remember, I've been posting grades in School Loop. It's a new grade book for uh, quarter four. So I've been posting grades for each class here. Um, if you don't see any scores, that means I didn't get anything from you yet. Uh, and I've been posting grades up here daily uh, when you've been turning in work. The first assignment here, the CK12 questions. Uh, have the date on there as well. That was from the CK12 website. If you still have not gotten logged into this website, it's ck12.org. Uh, Mine says backslash teacher. Yours should be on student version. If you get the teacher version, there's a button up here to go to student version. And then you'd be able to sign in um, or join. It won't have your name here. It would have something for you to join. And just join with Google. Use your same Google address with the at montebello.k12.ca.us. So if I go to my classes here, uh, and remember the class codes are up here. I'll show them again here today. I've shown them a few times, but some of you still have not signed up. So there's the period four uh, code if you need to pause the video and do that, you may. Here's the code for period five math class. Uh, for period two, it's a little tricky. That's an L, and then an F, and then a 1, and a T, and a K. So L, F, 1, T, K for period two. And then period one is here, period three, and period six. So it shows how many members. So period six only has two right now. Uh, period three has eight. Period one has seven of you. And then the other classes have six and two and four. So there should be more of you signed in. Remember, all of you should have Google Classroom. All of you should be getting all this stuff posted up here daily. Remember, it's on the stream here. So I'm posting every day. Yesterday I posted this. There was a video review of the questions. I'm going to post a new one. Well, you'll see this one up here today. <clears throat> and I went over the review questions here. It's the same video. It's just in a different format. Some of you aren't able to get the YouTube. Uh, some of you just have to get it from this file here. Whichever way is fine for you. Um, some students have mentioned something about not seeing assignments here on um, the Google Classroom. They are posted here. Um, they should be syncing with the um, Google, I mean the school loop. It should be posted here. Don't really check grades up here. It's not going to show you the best updated information. It probably will show you the assignments. And if you do see something missing here, um, that's fine. Just go ahead and let me know or just go ahead and click on it, see what it is. If you can't find it, just let me know. I can get you the file and get you what you need. Uh, this won't have your grades updated. I'm going to still be updating grades on School Loop uh, because that's where I submit your grades. So don't expect to see your grades uh, posted here, but you can check on assignments here. Um, so once again in the CK12 also, uh, if you go to take the quiz, which like some of you did here, I don't want to click on it and show people scores. Uh, but when you go to take the quiz uh, or anything on here, you'll just need to click on the assignment and you'll be able to go through it. I should be able to show you here the last one. That's a math one if you're a math student also. But here's the meiosis review questions. So when you click on that, it should have pulled up uh, what it has here. Remember, it gives you three attempts. Uh, so if you don't like your score the first time, you can retake the uh, questions or redo the quiz or test. Uh, there's no time limit. So if you need to look in your online textbook or uh, Google questions or look at the videos that I made, there's no time limit. So take as much time you need. If you need to pause it and come back to it, if you're going to have lunch or something or something happens at home that you need to take care of, that's fine. It shows you how many questions. Um, I just kind of did it the first time just to show you. Um, it says how long you take to complete it as well, so make sure you don't rush through it. And you can attempt it three times. So if I click on try again, which you can do as well if you don't like your score, uh, you'll continue to go through this. So how many pairs of chromosomes do human body cells have? 
So for that one, you'd put 46, and you'd be able to check it. And you'd go to the next one. And then this one is click and drag. You drag these to which one it fits with. Once again, you can skip it and come back to it. Uh, or you can look at the videos that I posted on Google Classroom. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is to contact me if you have questions. Some of you have been emailing saying that you don't know how to get the assignments or don't know how to turn something in. Uh, if you want to email me questions, that's fine. But if you want to talk in real time, there's Google Hangouts. So some of you I've sent invitations to that have questions uh, for me. I've sent an invitation to you. Uh, just accept the invitation. You can also start a video call or probably easier up here to click on a new conversation. Uh, you can look for your classmates here. That's fine. Um, or you can uh, just start typing my name in and going through the information uh, and looking for my name. So I'm going to set up another one for tomorrow uh, for any students that need to talk. But if you need to do a video call with me, that's fine. Just click on video call. I've been posting also for the different classes uh, when I've been available. So if you go on here and you start to type something in, uh, if I'm online, it sends me a notification and I can respond to you. If you have questions right away, you'll, it'll be like just you're talking on the phone or text messaging. Um, so you should be able to do that if you have any questions. Um, so let me show you for today uh, the reading again. So it's section four. It's starting on, that's the last page up here, 174. This is page 175. So I'm going to read through it. It says the white kangaroo in the photograph below was born at the San Francisco Zoo. The young kangaroo beside her is her offspring. Notice that the offspring's coat is much darker. The natural coat color for eastern gray kangaroos. White kangaroos are extremely rare. Why, has the, why was the mother born with such an uncommon phenotype? To answer this question, you need to know how the genes on a chromosome determine an organism's inherited traits. So you see here it's quite a difference. Like we talked about in class, uh, children can be born uh, quite different from their parents or siblings can be born quite different. Uh, I talked about it with the meiosis video as well, uh, how the genes line up, uh, how the chromosomes pair. Uh, but in between that, there can be all types of changes that can occur. So let's continue reading. This is page 176. So this one is the genetic code. It says the main function of genes is to control the production of proteins in an organism's cells. Many proteins serve as enzymes that control chemical reactions in the cell. Proteins also help to determine the size, shape, color, and many other traits of an organism. So before an organism is born, uh, it's going to be producing these proteins. The genes are going to control that. Uh, I know they talk about on the news or doctors will tell expectant mothers that are pregnant to, you know, make sure they're taking care of themselves, getting proper nutrition, uh, getting some light exercise if they're able to, and in good health. They can do that uh, because it does get passed along to the offspring. You want to make sure that what you're doing with yourself, you know, will help to benefit uh, the offspring. So these things can happen. Um, there can be mutations, which we'll talk about later as well. Okay, the next part is genes and DNA. So in figure 16, you can see the relationship between chromosomes and DNA. Notice that a DNA molecule is made up of four nitrogen bases. Okay, uh, adenine for the A, thymine, T, guanine letter G, and cytosine letter C. These bases form the rungs of the DNA ladder. If you've seen a picture of DNA before, it probably looks something like what you see here in this picture. This makes up the rungs um, or like the steps of a ladder. It looks kind of like a twisted ladder. Um, and these are what's going to be joining together here, these nitrogen-based pairs. And usually they should match up with A matching with T and C matching with G for these pairs. Now that does not always happen like I'm going to talk about uh, later when we talk about uh, mutations and deletion, uh, different things that can happen. So a gene is a section of a DNA molecule that contains the information to code for one specific protein. A gene is made up of a series of bases in a row. The bases in a gene are arranged in a specific order. For example, A, T, G, A, C, G, T, A, C. 
those would have a similar base pairs that match up. Like on your next quiz, I would ask you to fill in what would be going next here. What will be matching up with those letters? Like if you add this A, T, G, what would match up with it? Which should be a T here and then an A here and then a C here. So make sure you study that and write that. Uh, you should be taking notes during this reading. Uh, so that's something you should, you should need to know. So a single gene on a chromosome may contain anywhere from several hundred to a million or more of these bases. Each gene is located at, specific, at a specific place on a chromosome. So the genes have certain locations uh, and they code for the genotypes and then the phenotypes of the individual. So next uh, and the last one for today is order of the bases. A gene contains the code that determines the structure of a protein. And this is another good note you should write down here. The order of the nitrogen bases along a gene forms a specific genetic code that specifies what type of protein will be produced. Kind of like a computer program, if you're familiar with computer coding, uh, kind of the same thing here. Or, or if any of your parents use coding or anything like that in their jobs, they'll have specific codes. Uh, or like when I do things on my school loop gradebook, right, I have certain codes for certain things, different letters mean certain things, or if you're taking attendance, things like that, there are certain codes uh, that you would use. Similarly here with the DNA. So remember that proteins are long chain molecules made up of individual amino acids. In the genetic code, a group of three DNA bases code for one specific amino acid. That might be a quiz question here about the three DNA bases code for one specific amino acid. You might want to add that to your notes. Uh, for example, the base sequence C, G, T, cytosine, guanine, thymine, thymine always codes for the amino acid alanine. The order of the three base code units determines the order in which amino acids are put together to form a protein. So it has a specific code. This specific code, this specific order will code for a specific amino acid. Um, so hopefully you understand that. Um, if not, listen again to the video. If you have questions, let me know. Remember, email me through School Loop or go to Google Hangouts here. Send me an invitation or message me. I'll be online normally throughout the day. I am working with my children at home. I have three children, as most of you know, so I am working with them at home. So if I don't reply immediately, uh, please be patient. But I'll usually put up here like I just did right now. I'm available to help if you need help. So go to your uh, little waffle area up here where you have all your Google apps. Uh, you should be able to scroll down and click on Google Hangouts. Uh, just click on this. Uh, you should be signed in with your district account. And then you'd be able to ask me any questions. Uh, if you're missing an assignment or have any questions about it, you can chat with me here about that. And I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, once again, just be patient. I'll usually return these within the day, uh, if not after a certain time, for sure, the next day. Uh, so if you need any help, uh, let me know. Uh, tomorrow I'll be posting some times for uh, Google Hangouts for any class members. They can sign in to meet online. And most likely Friday is probably going to be a Kahoot uh, game for you to complete. So if you have questions, let me know. If not, have a good day.